Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 87. I'm Anubis from Anubis Lost Plays and also from CNC Productions, and where we last took off, well, we dealt with some hunts such as the Ixion, the Orthos, and something else which I can't entirely remember. But anyhow, let's continue on with our least hunts. Our first of the hunt. Alright, so we're a Knight of the Round already. Which I'm pretty sure, I, th I think that's the highest rank you can get, I'm not entirely sure. Or it might be second highest or third highest, something like that. Anyhow, like I promised in the last video, or I said in the last video, I wanted to do one of my favourite hunts, if not the best hunt in game, Ancient Man of Mystery. Rank 7, we're going to talk to Mont Blanc. So, many people are reporting stolen swords of late. Kupo, it's not safe to say anymore. Better to speak in person. Hmm, that picture looks oddly familiar. I wonder who it is. You'll sign on the hunt. Listen carefully, I'll tell you all the details. I received reports that a certain sword has been stolen, Kupo. From whom, of course, I'm not at liberty to say. This individual accepted a challenge to single combat from an ancient man of mystery, but lost. The victor then absconded him with his sword. If you accept the contract, I can tell you more. I had a feeling you might accept. Now, this individual is not so concerned with the stolen sword as he is his, his stolen honor. He is a swordsman of some repute, you see, and has been so distraught he cannot sleep. He has nightmares about this ancient man of mystery. Can you imagine? He can't sleep, but still has nightmares. How terrible. Forgive me, Kupo. I digress. Now, he met the challenge of this ancient man of mystery on a bridge, and I happen to know where this bridge is. Travel to the Lusu Mines. You should find your mark on one of the bridges within the mine. They say he's quick on his feet, this ancient man of mystery. Be sure to defeat him if you wish to fulfill the term of the contract. Alright, so ancient man of mystery, the hunt begins. Now, two major things here. One is, I need to finish this conversation, so make that three. <laughs> we call the vilest of the vile marks, elite marks. My dream is to see each and every last elite mark fall before the swords of our clan. Alright, so the second thing is, you must defeat the antlion. Hence is why you need to get that side 11 key, which is what I was saying in a few parts back, in order to do this hunt. Third thing, is, as you said then, you must defeat him in order to finish the contract. That's just hinting at a little something there for all you people, I'm not going to spoil it. But yes, anyhow, I'll meet you at the Lucy Mines where we're supposed to go to meet this man of mysteries. So, be right back. Okay, so here I am at the save crystal, which is a teleport crystal, thank god, before we actually go to this hunt. So I'm going to save over this, and I'd recommend if you were going to verse the Ancient Man of Mystery, you do the same. You need to save your game, and by the way, there's Pinello and Ragnarok, which is a pretty kick-ass looking duo and a sword, like I've already said. So, first things first, have your characters buffed, you need to buff them, equip the Thief Cuffs. Highly recommend doing it. If anything, I, I think I'm going to equip the Thief's Cuffs for all my characters. I think that'd be best. Now, I guess we have no other choice but to verse him, so hurry up and bubble, Pinello. And let's go. So, Mumpleg said we have to go into a bridge to verse this Ancient Man of Mystery, and he will challenge us to combat. And if he wins, supposedly he's going to be taking our sword. But of course, this Ancient Man of Mystery... Is the character we all know and love. <laughs> yes, if you haven't already guessed, we will be facing Gilgamesh and Inkidu. And it even has the music for it. Uh, one of the most badass fights in the whole of Final Fantasy XII. Alright, so, first things first. He has different phases, five phases to be precise, at, I believe, 100, 80, 60, 40, and 20% health. You need to steal, and there we go, we get the first steal. First things first, you want everyone to beat the living crap out of Enkidu. Not Gilgamesh, Pinello, Enkidu. And there we go, Enkidu's gone, so... And he's already into his next phase. You face me, Gilgamesh! 
Long have I sought the blade of legend. Scoured have I the furthest marches, east and west. And now my search brings me here, to you. New weapons are forfeit to me. Oh, that is one of the most badass quotes I've ever heard. Anyhow, so we're already in the next phase because I'm doing so much damage. Now, steal again because we're in the next phase. And there we go, we got a potion and an X potion, which is good. And a thousand gil, that seems good. So, keep beating away at him. And I think we're in the next phase where he pulls out a weapon. That is the Buster Blade. Or the Buster Sword, it's a weapon Cloud uses. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the writing on top of it, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what it's called, uh, means fake. So, in other words, it's a fake version of the Buster Blade. Which is sort of funny. So yeah, just watch out for some of his attacks, such as Slice Thrice, where he hits three times, and it can do a heck of a ton of damage. And I believe this is the revolver. It's uh, Leon, or Squall's sword, from Final Fantasy VIII. No, Van, I want to steal. Pinello, you steal, and Bash, you steal as well. So now that we're up to his fourth phase, we should be able to steal one of the, I'd say, probably one of the best pieces of gear in game. Once it works, of course. There we go, the Genji Shield. So, every time he drops by a certain percent of his health, uh, you're able to steal one piece of Genji gear. So you can steal the gloves, the chest, the helmet, and the shield. And now we're able to steal another piece of gear, and he brings out... The legendary weapon from Final Fantasy XII, Tornasaur also known as the Sunflower, and yes, I will be getting that weapon later on in game, so don't worry. It's very annoying to get as well. So, steal from him. There we go, Genji Gloves. Genji Gloves is an awesome accessory. Yes, and I did say accessory. So I'd highly recommend getting those gloves, especially with the hint hint weapon you get. Uh, okay, are you immune to magic? I hope not. Okay, I'm apparently dying. Alright, well, looks so he's put his perfect defense up, so I've got to wait until um, he's finished. But he's not that hard to defeat. He's only level 45, as you've seen in my Photoshop skills. And he has 123k health. But the hardest part about this fight is probably his move there, Ultimate Illusion. And um, the fact that he has Inkadu with him. And he can attack three times with Slice Thrice. Does a lot of damage if you're at um, around his level, that is. So, it looks like we have defeated him in quota marks. So yeah, <laughs> there you go, that was the hunt, and of course I am joking. We haven't actually finished him off yet, and there is a second fight with him, and some of you are like, oh, sh**, and I couldn't agree more, to be honest. Congratulations. Congratulations, indeed. Uh, so, the second fight with him is why you need the side 11 key. He's actually deep, like, really deep into the Lucy Mines, and the monsters are very dangerous, and his level gets boosted, which I will show once again with my Photoshop skills when we get up to him. So, I'm going to cut ahead of where you're supposed to go, and um, I'll meet you there. So, go back. Alrighty, so now that I've saved, this is the location just before you verse Gilgamesh for the second time. So he's just inside there. And basically, as a heads up, this is what the whole area looks like, the second part of the Lusu Mines. It, that's the location of what it looks like. And also, to let you guys know, the monsters are extremely strong. They're around level 60, and uh, some of my characters have actually died, especially from being ganged up on, because you verse a lot of skeletons and um, bats. Also, on another side note, I'd recommend heading up there into Site 6 North, and at the southern point there, the southernmost treasure chest, if you equip a um, diamond armlet, you have a 90% chance of getting this shield, called the Aegis Shield, or the Aegis, however you like to pronounce it. 
And it's a very good shield, even though it has pretty bad evade, like normal evade, it has very good magic evade, so... Up your characters and be prepared. Also, if you're level 99 like me, I would recommend sacrificing the bubble belt for... Where is it? Where is it? Black belt. Because Gilgamesh gains some new moves, some of them being... Um, Level 3 break, I believe, so on a break, disable, um, so you can disable your characters, so you need at least, um, a, you know, belt on, so you can prevent that. How long I've waited. You didn't actually wait very long at all. Hey, you stole Titus' sword. I just saw Titus' sword. Anyhow, um, the other two moves he has is level 2 something, I think that's break, and level 4 sleep or something. Um, because in level 99 it won't affect me. Now, what you want to do, like normal, is now he's extremely strong, and I mean extremely strong, he's level 70. You want to have one of your characters steal, of course, because he'll have a piece of Genji gear, or potions, likewise. Oh my god, he took out Van in one hit. So, level 2 sleep's not going to work on me, because, you know, I could easily dodge that. I'm level 99. Alright, this is what I meant by level 3 disable. Ah, uh, Van, just get rid of Enkidu, that'd be an idea. Actually, let's have you use. Whoops, went past it. Let's have you use to spell. Or you can be disabled, that'll work too. Okay. Okay. Now use to spell. I'm going to actually have Bash. You can equip the Nihapalo, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to use a Remedy on Enkidu. Oh god, he's going to use one of his moves. Okay, I think he just buffed himself with that, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, we'll see. Eh, whoa, 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 Enkidu, you did not like that at all. Alright, let's start beating away at it. Then you can too. No buffing for now, just get rid of Enkidu. No, Penelo, damn it, I did that twice. Go, get Inkidu. Nearly done. Probably say about one more round and he'd be dead. Oh, wow. Damn it, went into critical stance. Alright, um, yeah, you heal up then. I suppose you should buff up because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage from these guys. Fast, shoot haste. Fan, take care of Inkidu. Pinelli, take care of Inkidu too. Stop parrying my blows, you cheap dog. Learn your place in this world. There we go. Alright. So, um, let's see what I got equipped. You got Thief's Cast, so you got Black Belt. Alright. So, have you got any buffs in you? No, you don't. I'm going to try using Remedy on you. Hopefully it works. And he's immune. Of course he's immune. Of course. Alright, let's equip the Bubble Belt. New Zodiac Spear. I'm not entirely sure if he went to a new phase or not. Alright, you already stolen. That's good. Better safe than sorry. Alright, and you stop. Dang. It was merely a test of your strength, mortals. A prelude, if you will. The real contest begins now. Of course it does. I.e., your weapons are as good as mine. <laughs> you still want our weapons, man? Really? Alright, Van, first off, you can steal, and you now they can bubble. Stole a high potion, and that was terrible. Terrible indeed. We'll use remedy on Bash, get rid of the stop, because nobody likes stop. Stop's bad. Now you can all attack. Alright, and then, if I'm not mistaken, the next, I'm pretty sure, two or three steals, we'll be able to get Genji equipment. The last pieces of it, that is. Now that weapon, I think that's Zan Tetsuken, which is Odin's weapon, which he uses um, from many Final Fantasy games. Bitter end. Oh, crap. So 
Such a boss. Such a boss indeed. High potion. Nope. Okay, next two steals it is. Hey, don't be cheap. You can't use your ultimate move twice. Dang, man. Alright, let's rebuff up again. Petrify won't do anything on me. Jeez, nice combo there, Gilgamesh. Not long now until the next phase, and then we can steal another part of the Genji gear. Oh, just before you use Disable. Very lucky indeed. Now that... That looks like... I'm pretty sure that's the Wyvern Mirror Blade or something. No, that's Tornasaur. What am I going on about? Aww. Didn't get anything. Okay, let's steal. Now, no, I don't want you to attack him. Do not attack him. If he goes into the next phase, that's the weapon or piece of Genji gear gone. There we go, the Genji helm. Alright, now you can kill him. Go ahead, doesn't matter now. Level 3 disable. Heal up one more time and bring him into the next phase. Level 4 break. That was the other move I was thinking of, was break. So, in other words, it's best to be at a prime number of 3, or something that's divisible by 3. Because if it's divisible by 2 or 4, you're going to be screwed. You'll be petrified, you'll be falling asleep, and here it is, his final sword. That is none other than the Wyvern Hero Blade, which is actually one of the ultimate blades you get in um, this game. You can make it, but it takes a bit of a while, and I will be getting it, so... Let's do it! Couldn't steal, couldn't steal, couldn't steal. Damn you, if you're Palin, woman! That is not what I want to hear. We'll see. Oh god, no, not this move. Yeah, so he uses all of his swords at once, charges up a massive Jesus ball, and fires it at us. Man, that sucks. Can I steal? You're immune to stealing. This isn't good. I don't want something like this to happen. Looks like I'm just gonna have to take the hits, I guess. Oh, he does sap now? Hmm. Alright. Come on, break out of your paling. Let's see if some magic works in it. Um, use flare. Or you could do that. That works too. Thanks a lot, Gilgamesh. That's why we all love you. Uh, black magic? Flare. Ah, oh, she can just attack. And it did no damage at all. Okay, never mind. Come on, man, stop being cheap. Break out of your perfect defense. One arc sword again, are you kidding me? You done now? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, people, start stealing. Get that last piece of Genji here. Um, you can. No, 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 no. I don't want you doing that. Then can steal. Oh my god. No, can steal. Try again. Um, 
Canelo, yeah, use that. And can steal again. Come on, Van, this is the last time I need you to steal. Do it, man. Do it for the Genji gear. Bash can steal. I'm going to give him the um, Feast Cast just to have a higher chance of stealing, that is. And yeah, I'll keep Pinello with the. Um, what's it called on? The belt that prevents disable. Black belt. Nope, nothing still, and we're disabled. Come on, we can do it. Yes, there we go. All right, let's finish this. Bust it off once and for all. Bubble belts for all the children of the world. And you've got, uh, yeah, we'll keep you with the black belt. <clears throat> all right, let's finish this off. Let's go, go, go. Then just attack. Sally, but surely he's going down. Alright, I'll let you buff up some of the other characters. Oh, just self, okay, never mind. And protect, of course. How is it that you can parry all of my blows? That's really irritating, Gilgamesh. This just goes to show, this hunt is one of my favourite ones, and also one of the more dangerous ones, considering that he's level 70. He has 475k health, or around that if I'm not mistaken, and he does a hell of a ton of damage. He disables, he sleeps, he breaks. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favourite hunts. And the reward is worth it, the Genji gear, and we also get a certain sword, which I'm sure some of you are familiar with. Come on, one or two more hits. You can do it, one more hit. Okay, fine, Pinelli. Two more hits, because she's just weak. There we go! Oh, poor Gilgamesh. He's disappearing. And there you have it, we have defeated the Ancient Man of Mysteries, and I do believe we deserve some victory music. Oh yeah! And there's the Wyvern Hero Blade, oddly enough. Some of you are probably wondering, ooh, that is so cool, yes, Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh Vanquished. Some of you are probably wondering, ooh, that's so cool, did we actually get that sword? No. You don't, and you will see why in a moment. Uh, the sword isn't actually that, it's another sword in which we get. So, if you look at it, Sword of Legend. It appears to be an ordinary Sword of Legend. Yes, he got a dud. It was a fake, it's not the real one. Which is funny, I guess. But anyhow, if you leave, and you leave the sword there... He comes back and takes the sword, even though it's a fake. Ah, uh, Gilgamesh, you you never cease to surprise me. Anyhow, now that we've done that, I would highly recommend saving once again because you've got to trek your ass out of this whole damn cave or mines. So, I'll meet you with the petitioner. We'll get our reward, which is a juicy lutation reward indeed. So, be back. All right, so finally, I'm. Back at the petitioner, which is none other than Mont Blanc. So, how fares the home, Koopo? You defeated Gilgamesh? Amazing, Koopo. You've done this clan proud. Surely our nameless swordsman, who Gilgamesh defeated, can breathe a sigh of relief, knowing his honor has been avenged. Here is your bounty, Koopo. Well done. And we have obtained for Battle on the Big Bridge, which is a suited title, if I do say so myself, 10,000 gil and the katana, Mass Immune. Alright, so, wow, only two elite marks left. Jeez, we're doing really well. Alright, so, as I was saying, the armor and weapon that you get is by far some of the pretty much best gear you can get. 
I'm pretty sure it's the best katana, I'm not entirely sure, but here we go. You got massive immune. It's weaker than Ragnarok, yes, but of course you equip the Genji gear. Improves your chance to counter. And the Genji gloves improves your chance of scoring multiple hits. So if you wear that with Mass Immune and you put Haste, for example, on Pinello and Berserk, the amount of hits and damage she can do is absolutely incredible. Which is pretty much good for sweeping any type of monster. Anyhow, um, I'm going to say that'll probably do it for a park, because I'm already up to like 24, 25 minutes or something, so that took longer than expected, but I mean, hey, a whole part dedicated to Gilgamesh. What can you expect? Anyhow, I'm a Noobs from Noobs Let's Plays, and also from CNC Productions, and you have been watching Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, Part 87. I'll see you next time in Part 88, we'll continue with the Elite Hunts, Hunts, or even Finding Espers. So, have a fantastic day, and goodbye.